Mohamed Youssef, a man who's in such fantastic form over the last 12 months. Beautiful shot, runs away for four. Brett Proctor will describe it for you. Thanks, Robin. It's a nice, gentle welcome from Andre Nell to Mohamed Youssef. This is a very pleasant half volley and uh, exquisitely dispatched. He's a class player, Mohamed Youssef. Picked the gap out beautifully. Not an easy thing to do when you first come in. Played pretty well at Centurion. 39 he got. Oh, that's better bowling. It's a better length. A length that South Africa have struggled to find today. They'll be disappointed with their bowling performance. However, they certainly had their rhythm disrupted by the attack from Imran Nazir. You're spot on, Brett. Now, that's a good length to bowl to somebody like Mohamed Yusuf, but no, uh, Imran Nazir was getting on the back foot and pulling those sort of deliveries. Uh, I just don't think they bowl enough slower deliveries, and they didn't bowl enough in the block hole. Had to bowl fuller to the shorter man. If you look at his uh, wagon wheel, you'll see that a lot of them went... Uh... Oh, that's a beauty. Oh, and that's a pretty poor delivery. Oh, so nearly ricocheting back onto the stumps. Good piece of bowling. That was a bit late. Mohammed Yusuf, just a slightly quicker delivery. And how close is this? Straight over the top. Sweetly driven and through. That is gorgeous placement and exquisite timing. And it goes all the way for four. It was no more than a push into the gap. Beautifully played. Well, we saw him play one square of the wicket when it was a little wider. This one a bit straighter, so he's just angled it wider mid-off. Through the offside, very good player. Always hitting nicely on the up, but with a very... Got it fine and fine a third man so cleverly played it's 127 now for two just uh, opens the blade of the bat lays it through the vacant slip area just wide about so there's a certain risk involved it's any less bat on it than that than voucher would have uh, Gobbled it up. Nose high. Clinically put away. You cannot repeat. You cannot bowl short on this pitch. Wants the one. And will get it to get him to a half century. What a prolific performer he is, 52nd 50, is sixth against South Africa. He's gone on to 1100s in the midst of what is a mighty career. Pleasing innings from Ahmed Yusuf. Just losing his touch a little in the last um, few overs, but I'm sure that he's quite uh, capable really to come back into his own usual aggressive self. This is one. Chipped over mid-wicket. Beautiful timing. He's gone for four. He's just as much a danger man playing orthodox cricket shots, Mohamed Yusuf. 900s last year. Magnificent form he's been in. And this is a very good cricket shot. Intentionally gone over the top, but he knows where the fielders are. And he's picked out the gap. Just flipped it over the infield. Over mid-off. One bounce for. And again, quality shot. This is not slogging. He knows where the fielders are. Look at the hands beautifully. Straight through the ball. As I said, he's as much a danger because of his placement as uh, the big hitters.
Well, we'll start with Graham Smith wanted the mid off to go back, but he's now, I think, been overruled by Cullis. <laughs> it's pulled away. More runs. And all orthodox cricket strokes. It's the end of another big over. 16 from it. 261 now for four. Right between the two fielders. Now they had time to move. You got a picture of that going straight into the lens. Four more runs, I think, to get added to the total. To take it to 274. The highest total is 280 for four. So they're going to break that by plenty. 274 now. Lost a wicket almost immediately. And then uh, Imran Nazir set him on a path. And these two are really capitalizing 59 of just 32 deliveries. That's sweet, sweet timing. Four, beautiful. I'll use the word this time. Placement. He puts away the full toss so well. Edged it. That was a genuine edge, just wide about you. And four. Oh, when your luck's in, your luck's in. That could so easily have hit a thinner edge and gone to Boucher. He goes hard at it and just wide. I'll tell you what, though, with the acceleration through the hitting area with those wrists, it's always going to go very quickly. And Mark Boucher, really no chance. Interesting length that uh, Langefeld bowled in. So is that. Over fine leg. He's a tall man there too, saving one, but it's gone for four more. They're targeting that area with the angle that Mackay and Tini bowls and the length that he's trying to bowl if he misses without a fine leg. They can just have a flip at it. Just over Justin Kemp's head. Now that's uh, going to be a challenge for you when you come out to bat, Mr. Captain. And there's going to be quite a healthy total posted here by the Pakistanis. And a slow over rate from South Africa. Very slow. Shouldn't have been bowled. It goes for four. 3.47 for four. That's his 1,200. And his first against South Africa. And it's been a pleasure to watch it. Absolute pleasure. Quality cricket from Mohamed Yusuf. Really was a fine knock. Exactly how, as a quality player... You should fashion out a hundred in a one-day game. 110 deliveries, 12 fours, strike rate of 90, tad under three hours. Well played. And he's done it. Well bowled. Very well bowled. It's only the eighth time that 350 has been passed in South Africa during an ODI anywhere in the country. And it's been uh, down to a superlative innings from Mohamed Youssef and some wonderful, wonderful hitting from Shahid Afridi. Along with a good start up front, Young Nazir played really well. It's been most entertaining.